Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Let's get started with some disclaimers. Some parts of this tutorial will not survive an update for Steam Deck. Uh, we'll talk about that. It only works in your local area network. It won't work if you're out and about. It will work with Steam games, but please don't. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And of course, after MUDEC is installed this way, not all saves will be on the NAS. Some of them will be stored locally, so sharing that NAS installation may not work as you'd expect. Now, how about some prerequisites? I highly recommend a keyboard. Highly, highly, highly recommend a keyboard. You will need like 201 knowledge of the console and the file system. Um, this is not a beginner's tutorial. It's not a 101 level tutorial. Keep that in mind. Uh, your Samba share should already be set up either on your NAS or on a PC somewhere in your network. Inside of that share should be an emulation folder with your ROMs and BIOS files all ready to go. You will need a pseudo password, but we're gonna set one of those up as part of the video. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to download my helper pack. That will assist you in copying and pasting a lot of the complicated stuff. So with that said, let's get to it. Of course, we have to hop over to desktop mode because that's where all the fun happens on the Steam Deck, including this particular tutorial. Our first step, of course, is to get that helper pack. So open the browser of your choice. In my case, it's Brave. And we are going to go to this location. Check the link in the description below. That's where the final version will be. It may or may not be here when we're done. This is a very small zip file. It's got some text files in it. It's totally safe. And if I could actually type straight. All right, so it's a zip file. Make sure you set it to downloads and make sure the zip file extension is preserved. Now, if your browser complains and it doesn't download it, just hit keep, it's safe. There's nothing in there. You'll be able to see it all for yourself in a minute. All right, now we open up the Dolphin File Manager, which by the way is stock. I kept it stock so that I could show you what to do. You must turn on hidden files and folders first right off this hamburger menu, show hidden files. That's gonna let you see all the dot folders and dot files on your system. We'll switch to list view, because I like list view. And we'll use that split later. So inside of downloads, here's our zip file. Let's go ahead and extract that here. And when you're done, you can delete that zip file. Might as well clean up after ourselves. Inside you'll find a .smb credentials. That's a hidden file, which is why we had to turn them on. We're gonna hit split and put the home folder in the other side. That's gonna be the destination for that .smb file. Let's copy that right on over and we'll move it. Perfect, it should be on the root of home, not inside one of those folders, so be careful. The next file is our text file that has all the commands we're gonna be cutting and pasting. Some of them will have to be altered as we go, so don't try to run ahead and just cop start copying and pasting those into the console. Next up, we will launch the console because that's where we're going to be doing most of our work. So here we go, console. All right. The first thing we're going to do is make sure we have a pseudo password or create a pseudo password. This will allow us to run things at a higher permission level on our deck. Pass WD, if you already have one, it'll say current password. But since I don't have one, I'm going to set one. As you type, nothing will appear. So it's taking your input. Just realize it's not echoing it as it goes. Now we're ready to copy our first command, which is a make dir. I'm gonna be using control C and control V a lot. You can also right click copy, but do not right click and copy here or paste in here, use the paste button. All right, that make directory made a home slash deck slash NAS folder. And let's go in here and make sure, there it is, home NAS, perfect. That's gonna be our mount point. That's where we're gonna mount the folder on our NAS drive to appear on our deck. Pretty straightforward. Uh, this is this is the easier of the things that we're having to worry about. All right, before we move on though, let's go to network and let's find your Samba share. Before we do anything else, we really need to make sure you can see it. So if we go into SMB under network, in a few moments you should see your NAS or wherever your destination is gonna be. This is mine, NAS. And if I click in here, you'll see I have tons of shares, tons of drives, tons of everything. My emulation stuff is on the Z drive. So I'm gonna click in there. There's my emulation folder, capital E, and there's my BIOS files, excellent. They're already staged and my ROMs by system are also already staged. So this is where we're going to inevitably end up having emudeck point to at the end of this mess. This is the path we're gonna need later, slash slash 
your IP address, and then whatever folder that you care about. And remember, it's case sensitive. That's a capital Z, not a little Z. All right, so now that we're done confirming that our SMB is good, let's go ahead and we'll do our next command. I'm not gonna show the back and forth. I'm just gonna cut the next one, paste it in. This is the chone or change owner. This will set the ownership of that NAS folder to deck deck, which is what we want. And uh, there should be no output for a lot of these. Next one we're gonna paste in is a nano command. This is a very basic text editor. This uh, needs your username and your password for your share. For some it'll be administrator, for some it'll be whatever. Um, but you'll have to set that, otherwise your share won't work. So set your, you only have to do this once, set your username and password. <clears throat> now, control S or control O will save the file and control X will exit. I don't know how to do this with a mouse. I don't even know if it's possible. You may be able to use Kate to get around this, but you'll also be have to run Kate later with sudo. So you'll have to work around that if you don't have a keyboard. Okay, our next command is a change mod 600. We're gonna change our SMB credentials um, to 600. That sort of keeps it hidden and protected. All right, because we're gonna reference that later. Next paste is sudo nano etc f stab. Okay, so this is where we have to have sudo to edit this file. This is a system level file. This file, if you break this, your deck probably won't boot. So be very, very careful. And you're gonna copy both lines of this command probably, or it's all one line, it just wraps, right? We're gonna copy it and then you're gonna use um, uh, your paste again here. So we're gonna get this lined up at the very bottom. And then we're gonna hit paste, and that's gonna paste in the goodies. Now, I, I don't know what I was doing right here. This is what happens when I uh, do these videos too late at night. All right, so I'm gonna hit paste, there you go. Now let's take a very close look because this could break everything. Slash slash your IP address to your NAS, slash the folder, remember capital Z. Then it says where you're gonna mount it to, home, deck, NAS, perfect. This is the file mounting stuff. You don't really have to know how it works, but you see we reference our SMB credentials. That no fail, make sure that if this isn't available, next time we boot, it won't hang the deck. So that's perfect. Everything else, just leave it, leave it, leave it, save it, and exit out. That's it. We're done. If you can pull that off with Kate, great. Now we're going to do a mount dash A, which by the way needs to be sudo. I left that in there on purpose. Yeah, right. Sudo mount dash A. Now it's going to tell you that your F stab has been modified, but we're still using the old one. So we're going to reload the daemon and that should force it to reload the f-stab. So blah, 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 type in your sudo password. Now try sudo mount a again. Now, nothing came back. That means it was successful. Let's go prove that it was successful. We're going back to the dolphin file manager. That mount point should actually be pointed to our NAS now. So that's our NAS. Let's go to home. There's the NAS folder. Look, there it is. That's it, our mount point is successful. Now our deck thinks that our NAS folder is local. We could do a whole lot of business with that. So copy that, which should be home deck NAS. We're going to create a new link to file or directory. And we're gonna make MU virtual capital E capital V. This is for my tutorial on setting up EMU deck. Perfect. Now inside of there's emulation, inside of there BIOS and ROMs. Okay, so now, we are prepared to go grab EmuDeck. So we're gonna grab EmuDeck, download it and install it. Now use my tutorial. Do not use this as the tutorial. This is not comprehensive. This is not gonna help you. Go to my latest EmuDeck tutorial, run it and do this, do the whole thing. I just wanna do this couple of parts here to show you what you could expect. So once you download EmuDeck and you run it, you're gonna get the installer. And the key, of course, is to choose when you're selecting your ROM directory to select the EmuDeck folder. Single click and hit OK. Now remember, that's pointing to your NAS now. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this whole install here. But while we're waiting for the install to happen, I want to check one more thing. So we're gonna go into Steam. I know some of you are saying, hey Shane, can I run Steam games off of this NAS? You can, but God, don't do it. You're gonna just have problems. It's gonna be a problem but I wanted to show you, you can set it up, it will accept it, and I beg you, I beg you, I, I, I implore you, do not use SMB to run Steam games. You can do it, and in some cases it might even work, and sometimes it might even work just fine. 
All right, we cut out a lot of the Emudeck installation. I just want to get to the proof in the pudding. First off, we're gonna check our NAS mount point. Yes, it's still here. Yes, the emulation folder's still there. And look, all of the support files for Emudeck have been installed. Um, saves, all of your saves aren't here. So if you try to share this installation with another deck, all the saves aren't gonna be there because some of them are being saved internally. I have a whole nother video for that. We'll leave a link in the upper right for you and in the description. Let's restart. This has to survive a reboot, right? Or it's completely useless. So we're going to boot straight up. Now, if we run ESDE, which is all set up to point to our NAS or our Samba share, if we run this, it should reach out. We'll know in just a moment whether this worked or not, because it's going to search for games. Ah, and it's finding them. It's a little slower than normal, but I expect that over Wi-Fi. And there they are. They're all there. Holy crap, it worked like first time out of the box. Okay, maybe it didn't work the first time out of the box, but as far as you know, it worked the first time out of the box. Lot Many Bothans died to bring you this information. So here we go. Everything is here, and I'm going to try to find something non-controversial to run. Now, if something doesn't show up here and you don't get any games or anything, um, you go back and you follow the steps. Now, what part's going to die? What part's going to disappear when you get a system update? The FSTAB entry is going to disappear. You'll have to go put it back. I recommend copying it to a text file and stashing it somewhere where it's not going to get destroyed on an update and then put it back after the update. Sucks, but it's kind of the way that it is. FSTAB is a protected file and uh, it will get reset. But everything else is looking great uh, and you won't have to do all the other steps. Just replace the FSTAB entry in the future. Okay, hopefully you like what we're doing here. If you are, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching. You need help? Come see us in Discord. I'm Shane Armand Rowe. Take care. We'll see you next time.